About 10 years ago, I started uh, with my colleagues from Nottingham University in the UK, Stephen Coombs, a journal called the Journal of Mathematical Neuroscience uh, that, is, that was published by Springer. Uh, once in Paris, I was giving a talk on mathematical neuroscience. There was a person from Springer sitting in the room, and at the end of my conference, she walked uh, up to me and said, uh, uh, would you be interested in starting a, a, a journal? And I said yes, and that's how the adventure uh, started. So at the very beginning, uh, JMN, the Journal of Mathematical Neuroscience, had no uh, impact uh, factor, and uh, we very soon discovered with Steve Coombs that uh, there was a major difficulty in uh, attracting papers to the journal, which was not related to the uh, impact factor or the lack of impact factor, but was related to the fact that uh, their model, their publishing model was uh, the golden, the so-called golden, uh, golden open access model. It's a model in which... Uh, the papers published by the journal are open access, so everybody can access, uh, access them and read them, but authors have to pay. And since we were reaching out to uh, mathematical uh, scientists or mathematicians, and uh, usually uh, math laboratories have very little money, <laughs> we uh, experienced a lot of problems with uh, people who were not uh, capable of paying the so-called APCs, uh, author processing charges. So Steve and I were pondering about these, these problems, and uh, we talked to Springer. Many, many, we had many meetings with uh, some of the uh, uh, key persons in the publishing, uh, math, math publishing uh, section. And we asked them, uh, well, why don't you change? Don't we change the uh, publishing system? Why don't we go to the so-called diamond system where nobody pays, uh, neither the readers nor the authors? But of course, Springer is, uh, is a profit uh, company uh, and they could not go to that uh, new system, the diamond system. Therefore, uh, Steve and I decided to quit. APCs are, are a problem, as I, as I said, especially in uh, mathematical uh, laboratories. Uh, so the diamond uh, open access model is, as I said before, uh, free for publishing and free for reading, for accessing the papers. The, uh, but there's no free lunch, as they say uh, in English. And there's no free lunch, so you have to find uh, someone, a sponsor, uh, who would be willing to take uh, the charges of publishing. Uh, so basically, you have to go either to a non-profit organization or to a sponsor uh, who would, we will not ask uh, the authors to, to pay. Uh, and I, I did find a non-profit organization, which is uh, supported by, I would say, the French, so far, the French taxpayers who pay for the author processing charges. The net result being that uh, the papers which are accepted in a diamond access, uh, diamond open access uh, uh, scheme do not have to pay any APCs. And all the papers are completely free, open access. We wanted to keep those editorial board members of uh, the JMN who were more mathematically oriented and keep them with us uh, with m &A. That was number one. Number two, uh, I wanted to increase the number of professional mathematicians interested in neuroscience in the new journal, m &A. And this is uh, the reason why new names uh, have appeared. Uh, they're all mathematicians. And number three was an opening toward uh, more female uh, mathematicians. We have uh, much more female mathematicians 
in the uh, MNA editorial board than we had in the JMN, and this is good. So the, the, these were the three principles that uh, guided me when I, I, I sort of changed the uh, JMN editorial board. Neuroscience has a lot of data to process and understand. And uh, uh, if you don't have good potential mathematical models to analyze these data, there's no way you're going to be able to make sense out of them. So we need strong uh, mathematical models to analyze the, the host of data that people are, are collecting uh, using the, these measuring uh, devices, uh, brain activity measuring devices like uh, MRI, uh, EEG, MEG, uh, single and multiple electrodes recordings. So we do need uh, to uh, develop, use and develop mathematical frameworks for analyzing these data. Uh, usually in computational, what's, what's called uh, computational neuroscience, what people do is uh, they write a model of the, the problem, uh, neuroscientific problem that they're trying to uh, understand, analyze. They write a, a model, a set of equations. They simulate these equations. And if the agreement with their simulations and the data they have been able to collect, they, they're happy. But this is not an explanation. This, uh, it's just a computation model, and there's no, there's no theory. There's no... There's no deep understanding of what's going on. So this is what we want to uh, slowly change. Perhaps uh, this is a trend we would like to slowly change, bring more math to neuroscience, uh, attract mathematicians, uh, professional mathematicians to look at problems in neuroscience and attract people in computational neuroscience towards using more mathematics and bringing more proofs in their, in their papers, in the way they analyze the data, so that we can start building a, a strong platform, a solid, strong platform on which we can develop a, a theoretical neuroscience. The kind of contributions uh, we are expecting for the journals are Contributions from mathematicians working in neuroscience. So by this, I mean papers with a strong mathematical content, uh, theorems, uh, lemmas, uh, proofs, uh, but that, that uh, bear upon a real neuroscience problem. This is usually very hard work, and uh, there are lots of open problems in mathematics, uh, but this opens the door to a very interesting results in neuroscience. <laughs> the second kind of papers would be more um, computational uh, or physics-oriented papers, uh, perhaps data analysis-like papers, but where uh, the authors clearly indicate where in their analysis uh, some open uh, mathematical questions may lie or uh, some problems that there were some theorems that they were not able to solve uh, would be uh, would be of importance to be solved so we are trying to attract two kinds of uh, researchers pure mathematicians attracted by neuroscience and neuroscientists that have uh, a tendency toward uh, toward rigor <laughs>